the number of diagonals D of a polygon with n sides is given by this formula, where D is the number of uh, diagonals and n is the number of sides. So the question is, how many side, how many sides does a polygon with 44 diagonals have? So let's uh, talk about suppose sides and diagonals. Suppose this is a rectangle; it has four sides, and it has got two rectangles, two diagonals. So uh, in this case, you've got let's say n is four, diagonal is two two diagonals and so on. If you have a, say, pentagon, say a pentagon would look like this. Uh, it's not exactly a pentagon, it's not regular pentagon. So you've got one, two, three, four, five diagonals. So if you got, in a pentagon you've got five sides and you've got five diagonals. So the question is, if D is 44, how many sides does this have? So let's put D as 44. So if you put 44 is equal to half times half n times n minus 3. So I want to get rid of this half. So I'm going to multiply by 2 to this side. So to also multiply 2 to this side. So this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. So this is 88 is equal to n times n minus 3. Okay, so this is expanding this out. You can say 88 is equal to n squared minus 3n. Now taking away 88 from this side, if you take away 88 from this side, you can take away 88 from this side. So this becomes a quadratic equation. So you can say 0 is equal to n squared minus 3n minus 88. So let me write this in a general quadratic form. So this is n squared minus 3n minus 88 is equal to 0. So now let's put them in two brackets. So this is, well, you have to, as you got n squared, you have to start with n and n. The two factors of 88, which gives you minus 3, is minus 11 plus 8. Okay, so here we can say if you set each of them equal to 0, I can say n minus 11 is equal to 0, or n plus 8 is equal to 0. So you can say n is equal to 11, or n is equal to negative 8. But you can say, but n has to be greater than 0, number of sides cannot be negative, and it has to be greater than 0, so you've got 11-sided polygon. So if n is 11, you have 44. So let's check whether it works. So this is the checking part. So your d should be half of 11 times 11 minus 11 minus 3 is 8. And it does make sense. So this is half of 88, which is 44. So if you've got 11 sides, you've got 44 diagonals.